Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the Money Mental UK YouTube channel. I'm your host, Andrew, a part time eBay and Depop reseller and a mental health advocate, and also a man who probably needs to get a haircut soon. Um, today, it's another unboxing. I have ordered from Vault Vintage Wholesale a 20 kilogram mystery box. Um, no idea what's in here, it's a mystery, obviously. Um, it cost me £100 plus shipping and VAT, so we'll say 140 quid for 20 kilos of stock. So not a not a bad price, really. I think um, it's about 10 kilos. is about 160-odd quid from um, preload. So fair price. Um, interested to see whether or not uh, I can make a profit on it. Um, before we do go into it, I'll just tell you a bit about the uh, what I've actually ordered. So I'll do a screen share, have a look at the um, the description, as it were, the item description. So it's this 20 kilogram mystery box. I have included a link below if anyone wants to order uh, from Vault. Um, it says our mystery box is here. The super low price of just five pound per kilo plus shipping and VAT, obviously. Uh, this box delivers insane profits. The box is ideal for buyers who want quantity, value, and great turnover of stock. In this box, you'll find a complete mix of categories, sweatshirts, hoodies, t-shirts, shirts, trousers, ladies' vintage shoes, trainers, jackets, coats, accessories, shorts, denim, dresses, skirts, and everything else you can think of. You can expect each item in a bundle to cost around one to two pound per item, sometimes less. This is a mixed grade box from A to B. Uh, please note there's a clear overflow clearance stock and in most cases hasn't been picked through at all. Due to this, we are unable to offer refunds on this box, but we can offer an exchange for store credit as we're so confident you will find an extraordinary um, profit margin in these boxes. We order if I, no, they've reduced the minimum order now, Chris. Um, it is 50 quid, I believe, minimum order. Um, right, so big boxes here, 20 kilos, and yeah, it's heavy. Um, definitely heavy. So yeah, let's see what uh, let's see what we got. First out, we have got a pair of Lee jeans. Um, yeah, nice pair of black Lee jeans. Condition looks good. Uh, yeah, good condition. Um, just see if we can see the size, but I'll. Uh, I'll look for that later. So yeah, nice pair of black Lee jeans. Easy 20 or so quid on those. Maybe even 25 quid. Uh, next, another pair of Lee jeans. Blue pair this time. Okay. Condition's good. Yeah. So a grade A pair, two pairs of grade A lead jeans. Into some good money already. Uh, what have we got here? I was warned this box wasn't for the fatality. You need a bit of experience for it. Um, so this is a vintage jacket. Um, it's got this sort of flannel look to it. Leather trim. Um, yeah denim and co so yeah it's the vintage jacket with these duffels on we we'll probably get about 20 quid again for that we have a lady thing ladies bag let's have a little bit of damage to it but vintage ladies bag get a few quid for that uh dupe it says dupe on it so have to look up that brand and see if that makes any difference. Uh, what have we got next? Uh, flannel shirt, but it is as the George, so not really worth anything. There's unsorted stock, so not, not unexpected. This is apparently a Prada bag. Um, I will need to do some checks on that to see if it is actually legitimately a proud bag. Because if it is legitimately a proud bag, it can be worth some money. 
but given that it's unsorted stock and um, not going to hold out too much hope that it is somebody's left some stuff in here uh, it looks like it is stuff to clean the bag with but yeah i'll have to uh do some checks on that see if that is a legitimate powder bag because if it is it'll be worth quite some some money yeah, flannel shirts are in, but vintage flannel shirts are in. You don't get much of an Aston George one. Half shirt. Right. Nice 16. Condition is fine. Um, just legit checking it. So yeah, a uh, rough run shirt. It's been easy, 15 quid. Quality feels good on it. Loads in here. Um, what have we got here? Hello, Stu. No, definitely not more stock. Uh, vintage coat. Nice sort of lumberjack pattern. Say coat or heavy over shirt, quilted shirt. Again, 12, 15 quid on that probably. Oh, we've got a crazy jacket. Nice festival jacket here. Properly vintage. Look at that. Look at the patterns on that. Condition is good. We cut away on that. Should be able to get 20 odd quid on that. Morning, Richard. Let's get the uh, camera right. Vintage final shirt. This is more like it. Quid or so. It's a cool looking shirt. But it's crazy pattern shirt. <coughs> Excuse me. Probably get about 15 quid or so on that one. Yeah, good condition again. Vintage pair of trousers, There's a couple of marks on these. Ank Arborware, the original tree climbers gear. So I'd have to look up that brand and see if it's worth anything. It does have a couple of marks, a few marks on this one. So this is grade B condition, but they might still have some um, some value. Who knows? Hey, Peter. Ooh, it feels like we've got a silk shirt. Yeah, we've got a silk shirt. Silk shirt, good condition. Should be an easy 12 quid on that. Oh, this looks nice. Oh, this crazy pattern cardigan. Quilted interior. Um, made in italy so it's a nice italian vintage piece uh it's got alpaca in it as well um so the uh yeah a good quality item that 20 25 maybe 30 quid that's the right buyer another crazy pattern shirt
Thai silk by Apple, made in Thailand. Got pretty cool design on that. Say about 15 quid on that one. Camera is too heavy. Yeah, I hope you're okay, Richard. Um, legit check this. That's legit. So we have a pair of North Face um, sort of walking trousers, waterproof trousers. A little bit of fade to the logo um, from age, but easy 20 quid on these. So yeah, should make some money on that. Police. Uh, they call it a mock neck. It's the vintage Italian. What was it? Police with mock neck. Yeah, maybe a ten or so on that. Nothing crazy. Nice silk shirt with a crazy pattern to it. Go 12 quid or so on that. So some solid items here. Definitely be making a good profit on this box. So again, another crazy pattern vintage item. Nice pattern on the front there. Probably buying that on for 20 quid. Oh, another ladies bag. Of course, I know nothing about ladies' bags. Uh, so it's got a brand on it. So I'll have to look up that brand. When I can actually read it. Yeah, vintage handbag. With a festival jacket, vintage American sport, the vintage nice color block jacket should be about 20 quid. Nice tartan style tank top. Uh, tank tops are in last year, hopefully, they're. Be in again this year as we get towards winter. Uh, I'm just seeing if I can see anything to see what it's made out of. Um, but oh, there we go. 70% acrylic, 30% wool. You know, 10 to 15 quid on that. New top reseller for ladies' bags, I hope not. Mossimo, flannel shirt, extra large. Yeah, maybe ten on that. Uh, a Land's End, flannel shirt. No, no folks on the condition there. 10, 12 quid. Ah, another vintage crazy pattern shirt. Nice pattern on that. Be about 12 quid on that. We've got some nylon pants. Some vintage nylon shell suit pants. Uh, I hate measuring these things. I've sold these before for about a tenner. Um, oh, these are Adidas, apparently. According to the uh, spell out in the front. Not sure they are, though. Uh, 
can't find any labeling on them so i'm gonna have to uh, investigate those a bit further um because yeah there should be uh some kind of labeling on them one would imagine somewhere um got a pair of uh, the nylon pants ladies size large ones i think plastic skeleton yeah could bang them on for a tenner or so maybe 15 quid if i'm feeling generous Bastards back now aren't they so a crazy pattern shirt vintage just a medium shirt short sleeve shirt nice baggy fit yeah, I'm probably listed for about 15 quid and take off his. <sighs> this is cool. Hawaiian shirt. The original Lost Mines. Shame it's not in my size, really. But yeah, 15 quid on that. Oh, another flannel shirt. His final shirt medium half pants um you know 12 quid or so not a huge fan of final shirts just uh annoy me it's the vintage sweater it's got a pattern on it but it's not it's nothing crazy uh my Prosler manages sportswear. H, H Prosler manages sportswear. I'm sure that's not a brand or anything, but you know, we get 10 to 15 quid on that. It's a nice pick jump there. Scarf. From Milan versus Tottenham. Scarf from 2011. <coughs> Oh, excuse me. Problem with opening boxes that are unsorted. Uh, there's a bit of a mark on the scarf. So we'll have to see if we can get that out. Hopefully, be able to. We've got here. This is nice and thick jumper. Open sports. Nice vintage. Nice thick vintage quarter zip. Fleece. Nice big size. 15 to 20 quid on that. Every cotton shirt, vintage American one. And green. 12 quid probably. Hey, Mickey Mouse jumper. Uh, Disney Parks, size small, so yeah, that could be quite good, 25 quid or so, and this one's good, a couple more bags, oh, okay. Sorry. Um, what have we got? Another bag. I don't know if we've bags. Mark Chantel bag. Don't know if he's a brand or not. Obviously a new niche and now gonna have to learn about. But knowledge is power. Old Navy shirt, heavy cotton one. Do about 10, 12 quid on that. Final item. Haga suede look shirt. So it's got a sort of suede feel to it. Again, okay, might be about 12 quid on that. So yeah, not too bad. It was about 140 quid, something like that. Maybe 12, say 20, 32. 44. 
48. Sixty-eight. I won't count the accessories. Seventy-three. Eighty-five. Hundred. Hundred and fifteen. Hundred twenty-five. Won't count those. Hundred forty. Hundred and fifty. 160, 170, 190, 210. Ooh, that's got, uh, that's ripped. That won't get listed. Let's go to the red bag. 220. 240. Oh, why? Two five five. This is gorgeous, so I'll say two five or two sixty two. Two eighty. Two nine two. Don't know on that. Three hundred and four quid. Gosh, that's the Jones in it. Three hundred twenty-four. We go for twenty on that. Three four four. Fifteen on that. Three four nine. Three five. Oh, again! I didn't even touch you. Five nine, nothing on that. This is the one that needs. So that's three six nine. So Fifteen on that. Three seven nine three eight four. Uh, Forty quid's worth. Oh jeez, four oh four four. So four hundred twenty four quid's worth of stock with still the handbags to research. So you know. Could be looking at least 450 quid's worth of stock, which is not too bad. 440 quid investment. I should more than double my money after uh, fees and profit. So, yeah, it's okay. Not bad for a mystery box. Um, 20 kilos. Uh, entirely random what you get, but, yeah, should make a nice, healthy return on that. If you do want to order anything from Vault, I have got a link in the description as well. Uh, they do a lot of good stuff. The eBay reseller bundles are quite good and on um, special offer at the minute. Um, cheap enough that I'm tempted to buy one, but I need to save money because I've got a wedding to go to. Uh, when I'm away uh, tomorrow, uh, well, it's under pound plus VAT plus um, shipping, so about 140 quid in all, Peter, I think, roughly. Um, for that, so, yeah, um, 450 quid's worth of uh, stock, including... Well, I list including postage, but I've estimated on some of those, they may be worth more than my estimates. And I've still got handbags to uh, research as well. I mean, if that Prada one is a legitimate handbag, then that's going to be some, uh, some good money. So, yeah, all good stuff. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Uh, how long for? Uh, probably till Monday, I think. Um, right. Thanks everyone for watching. Um, see you all soon. Bye for now.